What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. I'm sure you know you're watching my channel. And we got a pretty high backyard here that I'm going to do with the Cub Cadet walk behind and uh, show y'all what kind of mower this is, um, how good it cuts tall grass and stuff.
take a blower and I'll blow all this off the deck and off the steps, off the patio, off the flowers, and uh, of course off the AC over there. So the first thing I want to say about this mower is it is a very good mower. Um, so far, I've had excellent luck with this mower. It goes through the tall, thick stuff. You might have to mow it twice, but no matter what you're mowing with, you're probably going to have to mow that stuff twice anyway. So um, this, this machine knocks it down real well and pretty much without bogging down. Um, unless you've got a bunch of grass thrown on top of it from your previous pass and then you're going through it, you might get it to bog down some but hardly ever will this thing bog down. So let's go through the, the pros and cons of this thing. <clears throat> um, the engine is a 420 cc engine and it is a beast. Um, the thing works excellent and it does have enough power to power through the tall thick stuff. <clears throat> the next thing I do like about this is you remove this cover there's three screws and then one here you remove this cover and it lets you get access to your all your belts and everything so that's another thing i like about it cleaning out the deck and stuff is very easy changing belts is very easy as well i do <clears throat> also like the deck adjustment so instead of having to adjust a bunch of wheels all the time, or two wheels, um, it's one lever. <clears throat> adjust your deck. And I do like that. Um, it also has the deck wash, which I don't think, honestly, I've ever used a thing. Um, I believe it has a two gallon gas tank on it. It may be two and a half, um, but I'm pretty sure it's two, two and a half gallon tank on it. So plenty of fuel in this thing you wouldn't think but it, it sips it it does not go through fuel very much at all I do like the bigger tires on the back so this thing I have put let's see what we've got on it now 35.8 hours <clears throat> on this machine and uh, it's just amazing I mean I would buy one of these it is not as compact as say a Time Master um, or a Turf Master or the X Mark 30 definitely not as compact but if you have the room why not spend the extra $200 and get the way bigger engine bigger gas tank this is going to do way more for you um, <clears throat> when it comes to mowing I do and have not never used this as a mulcher machine so I could not tell you how it mulches let's start this thing up this will be a code start so you have your this is your drive this is your blade engagement um, this is for my bagger, so <clears throat> this will be a code start. We'll just code start it real fast to show you how easy this thing is. Never had a problem with it firing up. You have your gears down here, <clears throat> battery as well. Um, your gears, you got one reverse and neutral and then you got four gears third gear you'll be walking pretty fast behind it <clears throat> fourth gear you'll be walking real fast behind it so i usually use second or third the things i do not like about this <clears throat> i do like that uh you can grease the fittings and stuff um i do not like the small wheels on the front I think it could have bigger wheels on the front. 
especially when you start going down, you know, into hills and stuff, um, and start to turn in, say, a ditch, turn around in a ditch or something, the bigger wheels would come in handy. These wheels work fine <clears throat> on everything, but, you know, I mean, I really think the wheels could be a little bigger for what you pay for the mower. Uh, the next thing I do not like about this mower is the handles, the drive handles. If you're going to use this machine for anything over 10 minutes, when you're holding these spring-loaded handles down, your hands will cramp like crazy. So that is another thing that I do not like about this mower is if you buy it, find some way to rig these handles to where you're not holding them all the time, but to where you can, you know, let off whenever you want to do a turn or stop or something because they will cramp the living fire out of your hands. Other than that, guys, it's been a great mower. I would probably buy another one, yes. I, I did research between the uh, Time Master 30 and this machine. This machine was $200 more, but it did come with the 420cc engine compared to the 190cc engine that comes on the Toro. So I felt like I was getting way more bang for my buck buying this machine than I would have buying the Time Master 30 inch. But, you know, if you're mowing, I've seen Seth the lawn surgeon go through some thick stuff with that Toro. So I, I really can't say nothing bad about the Toro because I've never owned the Toro. But when it comes to the power I'm getting, the gas capacity I'm getting, the features I'm getting, you know, I've, <clears throat> I've got electric start, I've got uh, four, four, four gears, a reverse. Um, I've got things that the Toro does not have. And for the extra $200, it's well worth it to have them options to me. So I hope y'all enjoyed this review. And if you think about buying one of these, go do some research on it because it's absolutely a fabulous mower for the price. So thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.